The Plain of Zendikar is a vast world of harsh and chaotic mana, filled to the brim with shifting landmasses and devastating natural phenomenon. Survival is a constant concern of the people who inhabit this world, with the very soul of the plain lashing out at all who inhabit it. The Royal is a manifestation of this chaotic energy, a hurricane of force that ravages the world seemingly at random. But the Royal is not the only threat to those who venture out beyond the safety of the Zendikar settlements. Creatures that invoke terror populate the whole of the world, and among them, the mightiest is known as Lorthos. Lorthos is an ancient and absolutely massive sea monster that inhabits the waters not far from Sunder Bay off the coast of Marasa, Resembling an octopus of a size that challenges the imagination, Lorthos has long been the subject of many mariner's tales told throughout the generations. It is said that Lorthos's very movement is able to shift the waves, and tales of ships that barely escaped its grasp are told throughout the continent of Marasa. Lorthos's power and dominance was so great that the merfolk of Zendikar believed he could control the very tides of the world. Some may have even worshipped it, a titan of the waves that brought devastation in its wake. But Lorthos was not the only titan on Zendikar, and his reign was at an end. In a desperate bid to fight off the Eldrazi that were ravaging Zendikar, the merfolk planeswalker Kiora would use her magic to call Lorthos to her aid. Kiora rode the monster into battle at Seagate, hoping to save the people there from Ulamog's brood. However, to her horror, she discovered not one Eldrazi Titan, but two. Kozalek had awoken due to the machinations of Omnixilus, and had joined in the battle at Seagate. Lorthos knew instantly that Kozalek was a threat, and became locked in battle with the Eldrazi Titan. But though Lorthos was immense, and his power was supreme on Zendikar, Kozalek was something beyond power, beyond the world. The Eldrazi cleaved Lorthos in half, letting his corpse sink beneath the waves. Lorthos's sacrifice was ultimately not in vain, as the Titans were defeated by the actions of the Gatewatch, and Zendikar would eventually return to something resembling normal. Lorthos the Tidemaker is a legendary creature, Octopus, that costs five generic mana and three green mana. He has eight power and eight toughness, as well as an ability that says, Whenever Lorthos the Tidemaker attacks, you may pay 8 green mana. If you do, tap up to 8 target permanents. Those permanents don't untap during their controller's next untap steps. Originally printed way back in Zendikar, this monumental monster has been given a few reprints over the years. With its impressive stat block and mighty ability, it's no wonder why he was seen as the supreme ruler of Zendikar's oceans. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or sharing this video with your friends. If you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, you'll be alerted whenever I upload new videos. This video was a viewer request. If you have a topic you'd like me to discuss, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Thanks again, and have a great day.